Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a video to answer a question that I got from Raven Harris, where Raven asked, will a four inch pot fit on the Mojo pot stand? And the only one that I had I think that came close is the Stanley. And it fits on but it's a little precarious. So since then I got a couple of comments from people that I thought were pretty interesting. So the idea is I'm going to go over them today on this video. Uh, one comment that I got from Randy J. He suggested another thing that's possible with the Mojo is to bend the six ears inward slightly. If they're all bent the same, all bent the same on the pieces, they'll all stack up and fit in the bag along with a nine panel windscreen. The idea of what he's saying here is you have these six points here on the Mojo. And he's suggesting to bend them all in the same amount because then what you can do is these pieces are all the same. Three pieces, just like so. So if you took these tips and bent them inwards a little bit, all of them the same, then they'd still stack up like this and be able to pack into a bag. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, this is a light, fairly bendable material. See how it's just bent there? I prefer not to bend it any more than I have to, but that's one way to go with it. I had suggested putting copper, little copper sleeves on here to gap this, but this is another way. So thank you, Randy J. Second comment I got was from Windwalker Z25. Windwalker said, Hiram, is it possible to just flip the mojo over? Uh, that would extend the gaps automatically without the need for the brass tubes. That's a pretty cool idea. It reminds me of what we had happened with the uh, West Wind stove pot stand. This is one that's made for the Mini Trangia. Part fits in like so. But what happened with this was the distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot, uh, I, f I think it was like three quarters of an inch short from the one inch sweet spot that we usually get. And I had it suggested to me that we should flip it over upside down like so and use it in this format. And it actually worked better upside down than right side up. But that was a case where uh, the distance, the sweet spot distance wasn't right. So what Windwalker Z25 is suggesting is that we take this, which is normally used like this, with the Trangia sitting on a little shelf there. So the only distance with this, with the way it's setting the way it's supposed to be, is this small distance underneath here between the bottom of the burner to the ground. A little bar of aluminum fits underneath there just like that. It barely touches and that the aluminum is 0.11 inches thick. So that's the only difference between actually putting it on the ground and turning the burner upside down. So if I wanted, all I could do, all I'd have to do is take this slug, put that down, put the burner on top of it, put the mojo upside down, and I pretty much got the same distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. So now with this flipped over, of course, the uh, regular wide pot I used would work on there, but it's not something you do. If you if it fits, you just flip it over on the other side. But when it comes to smaller pots, let's say like the Stanley uh, Adventure Campsite Cook Kit and stuff, that'll fit on there and it fits pretty good in the inner grooves here, which makes you even closer to the sweet spot. So that fits. The uh, diameter on this is what? Not counting the radius, is 4.3 inches in diameter. I'll put the equivalents down below. The titanium mug 450, that has a diameter of 3.25 inches. Oops. That fits on there pretty well. Cool. And then the GSI cup, 
that of course fits on there. So what I'm going to do today is try a little boil test just to see if it really makes any difference except I'm going to use my standard Boy Scout type pot because I have a time to uh, compare that with. So let me get my water prepped, get some alcohol in the uh, mini Trangia and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Let me light this. Get it to a bloom. Now the Trangia is another one of those stoves that in the winter it has a little bit of a hard time starting up. But it has a little channel on the top here where you can put some extra alcohol and help it along. Now why is that temperature dropping? It's right on the verge. Okay, so it's to a blossom. Let's put the stand on upside down. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. I'm not going to use that aluminum piece this time. I just want to see what happens with it actually on the surface. So let's see where it goes from here. We are now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see it looks, maybe you can see, it's a nice pattern across the bottom of the pot. Haven't used this in a while, it looks like maybe this stove needs a cleaning. It puffs every once in a while and the flames are really yellow. But that's the way the Trangia is, so let's see where it goes from here. Another thing I wanted to show you here is the interaction with the pot stand and the flames. See how the flames are coming through those three small holes at the top? Uh, with it being the stand being upside down there's a whole lot more interaction with the flames on the pot stand I'm hoping that this will hold up to the flames just being an aluminum who knows but so far so good just wanted to show you that there we have 210 211 212 and 6 minutes 31 seconds so that was a full boil, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 6 minutes 31 seconds. Let me just put this out when it's hot. Yeah, that went right through the glove. That is definitely hot now. A whole lot more interaction there with the uh, top of the pot stand I think I showed you on camera two it looks like it's still holding up nice and strong well I just melted my little man that side's bending out some so I'm not so sure that this would be a good idea it would work but it's a little hard on the pot stand see on this one that's why he took that metal away so that it doesn't interact with the flames when the flames are coming up through here like that, when the flames are coming, oops, doesn't hold together too good upside down. <laughs> when the flames are hitting this, then it's turning this whole thing into one big heat sink. And that's why when I picked it up by the corner here, that was hot. So, I like the pot stand, but I like using it the way it was meant to be used. I think maybe turning it upside down isn't such a hot idea. It'll work it looks like but it's going to be hard on your pot stand. So I hope that helps. Windwalker Z25 I thank Randy J and Windwalker Z25 for their comments. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions and as always Watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.